Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. So today we're going to combine different elements in Canva to create an image and sublimate a license plate. I'll have everything you need in the description box below. If you find the video helpful, you learn something new, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, to start off, we're going to go here to create a design. And for this project, we're going to use 11 by 17 paper, but we need to um, change it to landscape. So it's actually going to, our dimensions for this project will be 17 by 11 inches. Oh, let me do that again. Now that we have our blank canvas, we're going to go over here to elements and grab a few things. The first thing we're going to need is a square. Any square doesn't really matter. And then we're going to go up here to the search bar and type in letter frame. And you're going to scroll down until you see the letters that have like this background kind of thing. And I'm going to pick the letters MOM for mom. Okay, so now that we have that, let me just change this to black real quick so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. So let's move our letters out the way and start with our square. So the license plate is about 12 by 6. So that is the dimensions for our square. We're going to use this square as a template for our license plate. Okay, so 12 by 6. So this is our design area, okay? Then we're just going to take our letters and I'm just going to smush mine down to about two inches. So I think actually maybe one and a half would probably be better. So let me just smush all my letters down to one and a half. And I'm just staying in, in the center of the license space because you have do have to be mindful that there's like four holes around here somewhere but I'm just staying in the center okay so I have that so let's just go ahead and grab some text I just grabbed this I just want the cursive part so I'm just going to erase all that extra stuff right there I'm going to type in life. We'll leave that right there for now. Okay, so now the fun part. So what we're going to do is put a print inside of these letters, right? So we're going to go ahead over to photos. And you can use any print that you want. Um, I'm using leopard print. But they have tie-dye, holographic, like almost anything you can think of, you can go ahead and type. And I do want to say that, yes, I am using the pro version. So if you want to do holographic, that is a pro feature. So you would need to upgrade. 
But um, yeah, I use pro version for almost all my tutorials. So if you guys haven't gotten pro yet, then I don't know what you're waiting on because it's like literally, I think it's like $12, $13 a month and it is worth it. I literally use Canva almost every day. So let's go ahead and go back to leopard print. And as you can see, they have tons of different leopard print, but I'm just going to keep it basic right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the print and I'm just going to shrink it just to make it a little bit easier to work with. And you kind of like hover it around the letter and then it'll um, like disappear or transform to the size that it needs to be. I don't know the correct term. So I'm just going to do that again. Just shrink it just so it's easier to work with and like hover around. Sometimes you don't always get it on the first try. So just kind of hover around. And we'll repeat that same process. See what I mean? Sometimes you don't always get it right off the bat. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to go ahead and grab some more text. And I like to just use the um, text combinations they already have usually and just kind of change it up. I don't want that when I click the wrong thing. I'm going to use this one. And this text is actually it's called Chewy. So I'm going to, let me just erase everything. And I'm going to type in losing my mind and this is like a new update to canva it's only been around for a couple of months and i'm so glad they had it because i've been wanting to use this feature for a long time and you guys that is curve text so what i'm going to do is just make sure my text is highlighted go up here to effects and right here it is curve and I'm just, oh, it kind of already curved it for me. So I'm just going to make this font just a little bit smaller, maybe 50. No, 50 is too small. Let me uncurve it a little bit. Okay. And then just go up. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And type one kid at a time. And you guys, I find this so hilarious because it really, <laughs> it's very true. Going crazy over here. So we're going to go back to make sure the text is highlighted, go back to effects, curve, and I'm just going to swing the bar the other way. I do want to bring the life up here so I can raise that. Do I want this bigger or smaller? I think just a tad bit smaller and go back and curve it a little bit more. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now the last step, well, almost the last, well, the last step in the design process is I'm just going to pick a background. And I saw it earlier when I went up to photos. It was like this red glitter print that I want to use because leopard and red just go together. <laughs> so I have it. I'm just going to go up here to position and move it to the back. And I'm going to change the dimensions to the same as the um, 
purple square so I can get rid of the purple square. So I go ahead and delete that. Hmm. I want more of the bottom glitter showing, so I just move that up a little bit. And these are like very much Valentine's colors. I didn't do that intentionally. <laughs> that just kind of happened. And go ahead and. Okay, so I just changed the dimensions of this to the um, dimensions of the license plate, which is about 12 by 6. But I'm just going to extend the width just a little bit to account for some bleed when we do supplement. Uh, when we actually do the pressing because I don't want any white spaces so just to be sure I'm going to go ahead and make this just a little bit wider so I have it 14 by 3 let's just do 14 by 4 by 6 by 6 even though the true dimensions is 12 by 6 okay but we just want to make sure that we cover the whole area when we um get ready to press so now actually we're actually done with the design now you guys know oh wait let me erase that black box so you guys know for sublimation you need to reverse but the thing about that is you can't flip text in canva but what you could do is go ahead and download this as a png which we need to do anyway and you can either because canva is also an app on your phone so you can either flip it on your phone and then print from your phone or find some app on the computer that would allow you to uh, flip the whole image. But anyway, while we go ahead and print, go ahead, um, I saved it as a PNG. So now I'm just going to my downloads and opening it. And I actually posted a little photo tutorial on my Instagram on how to have your settings on your computer to be automatic so that it automatically mirrors the images for you so you guys can follow me on Instagram and see that or go ahead to jstewartslaboratory.com and check out the blog post with those directions as well. So before we print we just need to change a few things. We need it to be in landscape and that's basically it. <laughs> a landscape tabloid because we're using 11 by 13 size paper and we want borderless printing off. And you also want it to, um, hold on, I'll show you in a second. You also want it to shrink to fit versus fill page because fill page will stretch your whole design out and it won't um, fit accurately in the measurements that we made in Canva. So you want it to shrink to fit and go ahead and print. Okay, so we'll go ahead and print that off and then we'll go press it. Okay, once our design is printed, we'll go ahead and remove the plastic film from the license plate. Very important step, you guys. Don't forget. And you print on the white side. So we'll just go ahead and flip that over and put the design to the white to the design. And just go ahead and tape the edges with some heat tape. You don't have to tape it like I did, but, you know, just tape it on there. Go ahead and move over to the heat press and we'll press at 400 degrees for 60 seconds with like a medium to firm pressure. And then once that is done, we'll just go ahead and remove it. And when you're removing it, guys, be very careful because this is aluminum. So it holds heat and it is very, 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 very hot. And I'm using a Recoma 15 by 15 heat press. Okay. And there you go, you guys. Look at the colors. Oh my God. That is Cosmos Inc. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.